uh, thanks for clicking on this tutorial this is Bakapa here in this session I'll talk about how to read the any type of files it can be the JSON file or it can be the XML file or it can be the notepad file so I'll move on to the Eclipse ID now so under the files folder I have two types of files placed first one is a uh, demo1.xml and if you look at this content of this file so this is a xml file and another file i'm having that is demo2.json file so if you look at the content so this is our json file so simply i'll move on to the this package that is a com.testautomation.demo so inside that i'll create the sample java class so here I'm just specifying the name of the class as read file. Then I'll say finish. So this is our class. So here I'll write a simple method public wide test one. So in your case, you can write a simple public static wide main also. That should be working fine for you. So here I'll specify at the red test. I'll import the at the rate test from the test ng. So that's it. So first we have to tell where the file is exist and we need to use the different object of the classes, right? So first here I'm creating the object of the one class that is a buffer reader so new buffer reader so that's it so this will accept one argument of type reader type so here i'm passing one object that is a file reader so under that you need to pass the path of the file so here I'm specifying it as a dot forward slash so we have to pass the first we are trying to read the demo one dot xml file so we need to pass the path of this demo one dot xml file so just I have written the dot so this refers the root directory that means our project and after that one forward slash so we are having the files folder folder so simply I'll specify the files and followed by we are having demo1.xml so I'll specify demo1.xml so that's it I'll simply assign back this object to the buffer reader reference type just a second guys so here just I'm creating the reference variable for the buffer reader so that's it now we can import the buffer reader class and also the file reader class so that's it so here I'm importing the buffer reader from the java.io in the same way, I'll import the file reader also. So I'll surround this with the try and catch block. So that's it. So now we have created the object of the buffer reader. So this will help us reading the this particular file. So we have specified the file path which we want to read it right so by using this buffer reader object what i will do i'll call to the one method called read line let me specify let me specify it as a lowercase that is a b so that's it i'll use the same reference variable and i'll call to the one method called read line 
so that's it so what this method does right so simply it will reads each and every line from this particular file so first time it will read the this particular uh, line number one and in the second time it will read the line number two third time it will read the line number three and so on right so whenever there is an empty line let's say where is a uh, if you find if any line is having blank so that means after that there is no text exist right so in that way we have to write a logic so it will read all the lines from this particular file so i'll go to the read file so here i'm using while loop here so under the while loop simply i'll copy this line and i'll paste it under the while loop so here i'm checking one condition if it is not equal to null then only you can go inside the while loop and simply you can print the that particular text in the console so for that reason what i will do here i'll create a one string variable so here i'll specify it as a line equal to null by using this line variable whenever i read the line from this file so it can be the any file whenever i read this line so i wanted to assign to the one of the string variable so here i have created the string variable and i'll assign this line which is read it by this particular method then we will assign back to the line string variable right so we need to write under the braces here so i'm in the brackets so this particular condition will work out that time so if you look at here it is asking us to add the throw declaration that's fine we can add it so in the first line so this buffer reader will help us to read the each and every line from this particular file and after that i'm creating one string variable so whenever i read the lines i mean let's say for the first time it will read the first line so whenever you read this particular line go and go and assign back to the string variable so simply inside the while loop i'll write system dot out dot print ln and i'll print the this line variable for the first time it will get the line number one and it will print on the console for the second time it will get the line number two and simply it will print on the console so that's the reason i have written system dot out dot print ln so that's it guys so simply i'll execute this program i'll say run as test ng test if you look at here so there are zero failures and total test run is one and that is passed here and if you look at here so all the content which is there in the xml file so it is printing on the console in the same way just we can specify the path of the different file so we wanted to read the another file that is a json file right so simply i'll specify the path of this file so i'll go to the read file dot java file sorry read file dot java class here i'll specify instead of demo one dot xml i'll specify demo two dot json so that's it so this is an inbuilt class from the java side that is a buffer reader so this will help us to read any type of file so by using the method called read line so it will read each lines each i mean one by one line so based on that i have kept one condition here so if data is not there then only you come out of this particular while loop so whenever that data is there that means the if any data present so simply it will go inside this uh, while loop and it will print in the console side so now we are trying to read the json file so i have specified the 
path of the JSON file here under the file reader class. If I execute this program, so it should print the all the JSON value. And if you look at here in the console, so we are getting all the data from the demo two dot JSON file. So this is how we can read any type of file in Java. So that's all I have in this session. So if you like this tutorial, please click on the like and also comment in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next tutorials on the automation testing and the Java side. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.